Well, good morning campers. Uh, a bit of a different start to this video. The more observant amongst you will have noticed that I'm not sat in an aeroplane. Um, I'm actually sat on my second most favourite form of transport, which is my 2023 Honda CB500X motorcycle. So this video is still about flying though. What I want to do in this video is answer a question I get asked an awful lot. And that question is, what happens to your microlight if your engine stops working? So if that's something you're interested in finding the answer to, stick with me and uh, let's go and find out. So when I tell people that I fly microlight aircraft, um, I generally get one of two types of response. The first type of response generally goes along the lines of oh that must be amazing, I'd love to have a go at that, I bet the view is fantastic, can you take me up, take me flying. And the second category of response I get is quite the opposite uh, and that tends to be along the lines of you must be mad, you're bonkers, why would you do that to yourself, you're going to kill yourself, you're going to die. And those people that fall into that second end of the uh, spectrum very often at some point throw in the question what happens if your engine stops and they've got this honestly held belief that if that happens you're going to plummet out the sky you're going to plummet to your death and it's over in seconds So the planets have aligned again, um, I've got a day off that's coincided with nice flyable weather, lovely blue sky, light winds. So I'm on my way to the airfield and what I'm going to do when I get there is I'm going to demonstrate to you what happens if my engine quits. So hopefully, I'm going to try something clever now, if this goes to plan uh, I will join you in the cockpit in 3, 2, 1, now. Okay, so I'm back in familiar surroundings in the aircraft at Darlingmore Airfield. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off. I'm going to get to 3,000 feet above the ground, over the airfield. And when I get to 3,000 feet, I'm going to turn the engine off. And I'm going to start a timer. And just for shits and gigs, if you put a comment down below, have a guess how long you think it's going to take me to get down from 3,000 feet. And we'll see how your guess compares to reality. Anyway, enough yakking. Uh, let's get cracking. Let's go flying. Um, and I will see you at 3,000 feet. Go flying. Earlier on today, um, while it was too hot to fly, too windy to fly, um, my mum came over to the caravan and we had a barbecue. Um, and I told her what I was planning to do this evening. Uh, and it quite surprised me because my mum's been flying, in fact my first passenger after I passed my test was my mum. Uh, took her up in a, in a Quantum 912, she loved it, she still talks about it. And, and it was one of the most memorable flights I've ever had. Um, and she loved it. So I thought she fell into the category I was talking about earlier of those people that, that think this is an amazing thing to do. But when I told her that I was planning to climb up to 3,000 feet and turn my engine off, her exact words were, have you made your will out? So I think she's shifted uh, into uh, the second category of people. Anyway. Right, so we are at 3,000 feet. Uh, you'll have to take my word for it. Uh, let's get a bit of a stopwatch going on. And we're over the airfield. We're over the airfield. 
Um, so let's turn the engine off in three, two, one. There we go. Uh, let's start that stopwatch. So, the first thing you notice is, blimey, it's not quiet. Um, all I can hear is wind noise. Um, and I can absolutely get why people that fly gliders fly gliders, because this um, is so peaceful and tranquil. Um, the second thing that you notice is that I'm still flying, so those people that tell me I'm going to plummet out of the sky and fall to me death, quite clearly that's not the case. What I have to say is that this aircraft glides exceptionally well. Ben at uh, Flylight and those clever people at Aeros that make uh, the wing, you have made an amazing machine. It just does not want to not fly. What I might do, as I get a bit close to the ground, because even though I have done this before, you've still got to be on your A-game, and you've still got to concentrate, because you can get it wrong. Um, so, seeing as the order you're supposed to do things is aviate, navigate, and then communicate, I'm probably going to go quiet. Um, but I'll leave the cameras rolling in real time. Um, and I will see you back on the ground. Right, so let's speed things up a bit. Um, as you've probably already gathered, the BVB does like to glide and it's going to take some time to get back down to earth. So uh, I can assure you though that this clip has not been cut. There's no jiggery pokery going on with the timer uh, and this was about as scientific as I could get. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that this flight took place at about 7.30 in the evening after all the day's thermal activity uh, had died down. So right now the only thing that was keeping me in the air was the efficiency of the wing, which uh, in case you're interested it's an Aeros Fox 13 TL wing, and what a wing it is. If you're interested in owning an aircraft like this, I'll put links in the description below with all the information you need on where you can get one. Now I'm no flying instructor, uh, and that's not what these videos are about. Um, but what I will say is I think that once you've been taught how to deal with an engine failure it's a skill that you should practice regularly and often. Um, having had an engine failure I know it's good to be prepared, you never know when that spinny thing behind you is going to stop. So it looks like I'm just turning onto a final approach uh, into Darley Moor. Uh, I'm just going to explain what I'm doing, at this point I'm high uh, but I would certainly rather be high at this point than too low. If I'm too low, there's, oh, I'm in a bit of trouble. But if I've got too much height, there's something I can do about that. I can uh, lose that height by doing S-turns, which is what I'm doing now. Well, not my finest landing, uh, but still down in one piece. Let's see if it starts again. And it does. That was a lot of fun. That was so much fun, I might have to go and do it again. <laughs> So anyway, there you go. I hope I've demonstrated to you that these aircraft are remarkably safe. Um, they glide 
uh, superbly that as long as the wing's got wind flowing over it, airflow flowing over it, it doesn't know that the engine stopped, it doesn't care, um, it flies superbly. I should say, if, uh, if anybody's ever thought about wanting to have a go at doing this, what I would say is do it. Learning to fly was one of those things that I told myself I would do when I retired. Uh, and that was my plan. But um, uh, something changed a few years ago. Uh, a lady that I worked with um, sadly died the day she retired. Um, and that, uh, that was the day I decided that, uh, no, stop it, I'm going to do it now. So I signed up for an experience day, which uh, I loved. Uh, and then I signed up for lessons, and I have not looked back. So if you want to have a go, um, I'll put a link below in the description to the BMAA, the British Micro Aircraft Association. They'll give you all the information that you need. Um, and there's also a search thing on there. You can find schools near you. If you are anywhere in the Midlands region, then I can't recommend micro training strongly enough. They're based at Darley Moor. They've also got a flying school at uh, Dairy House Farm, which is Cheshire Way. Uh, I'll put a link to their website in the description below. Give them a ring, um, get yourself in for an experience day. The worst that'll happen is you don't like it, but you've tried it. So give it a go. Unfortunately, uh, the weather's due to turn tomorrow and then I'm back to work, but I've had three weeks off work and the weather's been glorious and I can't believe how lucky I've been um, and to spend some of the time doing this as well. So I'm going to carry on dicking around for a little bit more. Um, before I'm uh, heading back to reality. So I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later, bye bye. Nicely, thank you. Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, bar barbecue breath. <laughs>